in any state, but especially a southern state, it is extreme and immoral and just wrong to make it harder and impossible for some people to vote. That ain't nothing to do with party. Somebody must raise a moral dissent when there are people trying to make it harder and impossible for some to vote. In a state where we have 1.6 million poor people and 600,000 poor children and the fifth highest unemployment and 40% of minority children living in poverty in 10 counties where the poverty rate has been 20% for the last 30 years, it is extreme and immoral and just plain wrong to cut Medicaid for more than 500,000 people. And when people do it, there must be somebody that raises a moral dissent. It is extreme and immoral and just wrong to raise taxes on 900,000 poor working people so you can give a cut to 23 greedy wealthy families. Something wrong. It's extreme, it's immoral, it's just wrong to end unemployment benefits for 170,000 people who have lost their jobs of no fault of their own and 70,000 of them at 12.01 this morning that's coming will be without basic unemployment. That's not Democrat or Republican or liberal or conservative. It's just wrong. It's extreme. It's immoral. And somebody must raise a dissent. For all the fighting that we have done over education in the South, My heart hurts when I look over there at my left and that woman that sat on that piano. I remember, I don't remember, that she made a decision, her and my father, to come back to the South, to integrate public schools that 17 years after Brown had still not complied with the law. So my mother over there who was way up in government in the Midwest and one of the best in her field and my father with his two master's degrees had to come back to the South where he didn't even have protected voting rights and they had to bring their only child at that time and without asking my permission I guess. <laughs> they entered me and they took me and entered me into segregated public schools so that they could make their contribution to this legacy of dissent against the evils of segregation and discrimination. That's where my introduction to movement was born. It was born being placed as one of the sacrificial lambs, be following my mother and father. My mother going to a school where her first name was nigger but then being able to look at her sitting over there now where she will go to that same school tomorrow morning where the children of the children that called her the N-word now call her Mama Barbara. And that's why for me, and for you, it is so offensive, it's so immoral, it's so extreme, it's so wrong that people would attempt today, 50 years later, to use their power to destroy and dismantle public education and hand them over to private companies after we have fought so hard and bled so much and stood so long to do better. Somebody must raise a dissent. Somebody must raise a dissent.